Hey. This video here is going to move fast, but it's still going to be long, so you might want to reserve some time for it because there's going to be a whole lot of information. I'm doing a computer clean out, which basically means I'm getting rid of all my old archive files and catching up on current events for this channel. Uh, people are asking where I've been, and I've been in action uh, from here to uh, Greenville, South Carolina, and a whole bunch of points, you know, in between those two areas and kind of surrounding Knoxville and Greenville. Uh, on my other channel, we're going to be talking about the Copper Rush, uh, the new gold rush of the current time. And this is copper, and that's copper. This is not, that's, that's aluminum. Um, but the rest of this is copper. I want to tell you uh, all about it, everything you'll ever need to know, uh, where to find it, how long to hoard it, when to sell it, what to sell it for, uh, where to get the best prices for it. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, things that factor into the price of this skyrocketing um, we're going to get all into it that's a, a pro level restoration i'll put a link down here in the bottom but let's get on with this pool video hey if the acoustics sound a little bit different it's because i'm in a different location i'm on the uh what was that the right side of the one ball so i had to bounce off that rowdy right on the two and i'm using this doorway between the 7 and the 8 ball to get back on this 3 ball. And I risked a scratch there, but everything's okay. And a lot of people come all the way back to here, or try to get back to here, to shoot the 4 ball in the corner, and I don't know why they do that. Um, they're just not thinking right. The 4 ball's fine, except I got on the left side of the 4 ball, so it's going to be hard to get down on the five ball but i'm just going to try to get through this uh, ten and seven by putting a whole lot of reverse english on there and yeah i've been going two rails a lot so this is a two rail or a little bit of bottom left on this five ball and to finish this game out we have the six the seven right there and the eight the nine and the ten ball so I'm just, uh, we're, we're, we're in line. All I had to do is draw straight back to be perfect on uh, the seven ball. But again, I'm on the left side, so I want to just kind of drift down and get the right angle to get from the eight and back on the nine. Um, there's different positions you can be on this nine ball. You can be on the left side or the right side. The worst thing you want to do is get straight in. I'm trying to get on the right side of the nine so I can just use this top rail with some top left English to push it over to the right hand side rail to shoot the 10 ball in the bottom right hand corner so this could you know it should just uh, get you warmed up for what's to come we're going to cover eight ball and nine ball too and then we're going to go back to 10 ball so there's no cuts here it's just going so, rack number two is going to be eight ball on the old Gandhi table. I haven't played on this in forever, but I think somebody was on the table I usually play on. And I got here a little bit early, which is the way it usually goes. If I go here early, there's no way I'm going to get on that Brunswick table until they get hungry and go to lunch. So, here I am. And we have a little bit of an unusual rack here. And the good thing is nothing's tied up. Everything's clear and out in the open uh, if you take the solids. And another strange thing is the eight ball is in the exact center of the table, which almost never happens, but here we are. And uh, the 3-1 combination, I'm not taking that combination. I'll shoot the 1 before the 3 if I can do it. Um, and we start out with uh, the six ball being the key ball. Um, but it's not going to hold up like that. I'm going to have to start this game by shooting 
the six ball and trying to get on the five, but I screw this up too. And uh, I have to shoot the four before the five. And I believe that got me on the one. Um, things go a little wonky at the end of the game. Let's go ahead and roll it and see what we have here. Yeah, we're going old school here with the moving mouse so I can show you what I'm looking at here. And it was, it was a decent stroke. It wasn't a great stroke on that first shot. But you see how I got behind this 10 ball and can't shoot the 5 ball. So now I have to settle for shooting the 4 to get back on the 5 to get back up table and take care of the rest of these balls. That's a touchy shot right there. It can get away from you real quick. And we could have wound up behind the 10 ball again, uh, which could have been a disaster because... I don't know if I would have been hooked on the rest of these balls or not. And this right here is a little bit dangerous, but I have to take care of that one because I hate combinations. But look what happens trying to avoid this combination. And yeah, that's not what I was trying to do. There, was trying to bump the two to get a shot on the three. But now I'm going to have to shoot this two-three combination. Um, I, <laughs> I would rather almost do anything than shoot a combination, but here we are. And I should be out of here, and obviously the seven ball is going to be the key ball to get on the eight. Uh, but I screwed this up too. Yeah, sure do. Um, center right there to get behind. I'm trying to bounce off that rail and get behind the seven for a shot in this pocket here. But don't tell anybody that will be our secret here. Now, the only real pocket I have here for this 8-ball is this side pocket here. You can't really tell, but that 12-ball uh, is in the way of that pocket. This 15-ball is in the way of that pocket. So I have to really juice the hell out of that ball to get right on the 8 for a shot in the side. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't smooth, it wasn't pretty, but we got out and we did what we had to do and we won that game. So let's go ahead and move on to, to nine ball. So far in this video, we have ten ball and eight ball. Here we go with nine ball, including the break. I don't really know why I put the wrecking process in the, you know, the first part of the video, but I usually do. It just kind of gets gives me time to get my head right to commentate this video and I'm still breaking from the far left hand side and not quite off the rail half on and half off the rail and I hit him solid here but um, the one ball comes straight back and hits the cue ball and sends the one ball on the side and you saw me point to it because I don't like when that happens it leaves you at the mercy of shooting a two ball first and then two ball could be anywhere on this table because I still put it at the back of the rack. I know that rule has changed for a lot of tournaments. But it's kind of like I have it to rack the two ball in the back of the rack. And I don't even really think about it. I automatically do it. So now we're playing six ball because I made three balls on the break. So it, this should be a gravy out. But I get in a little bit of trouble at shooting the eight ball and getting on the nine. A little bit on the right side here. So we're just going off the left hand side route. And I get a little bit too straight in. I'm on the right side of the six ball, but not far enough. So I really have to spin the hell out of that. And you saw it hit the rail and, and completely change the natural angle on it. Uh, again, it's top left, and I'm I'm going to the top rail. That's the way I prefer to do it here. But I really, you know, I'm flirting with disaster here, and I just nicked the the corner of that pocket which gives me a real tester on a nine ball. It should have been a simple rack, but I made it a little bit difficult. And I have to shoot an extreme cut shot there. And that's nine ball as quick as that and as easy as that. It's all on the break, guys. Practice your break. Now yeah, we're back to ten ball, and you can see James back there doing something on his cell phone, and he will not play me anymore. Last time we played, we played 8-ball, and I put a 4-pack on him. 
and he just threw up his hands, uh, didn't say anything, and just left, walked out the door. And I'm like, yo, man. And uh, yeah, so, you know, since then, he just simply won't play. And, you know, after that six ball rack, which was actually nine ball with a good break, um, look at all these balls on this table. And this is what 10 ball does to me. It's like, holy cow, where did all these balls come from? But luckily, nothing's cluttered, and we just have a lot of work to do. Uh, let's see. Let's go through this. Here's the mouse ain't working. Uh, here's the cue ball. Here's the one ball. Here's the two. The three, and I'm going to have to shoot this three-six combination. And the key with this is to hit the six ball full. Otherwise, that three ball is going to get away from you, and we're probably going to get hooked behind that ten ball. But here's a four back up here, and here's the five. You know where the six is. There's, but we're going to have to get from the five to the seven because the six is going to be gone. There's a seven. Here's the eight, and here's a nine. And here's a ten. Everything goes relatively smooth. I had to take a couple chances here. I get bad on the four ball right out of the gate here, but I recovered very well, and I'll show you how I did it. And uh, I get bad on the nine ball, um, which makes getting on the ten ball a little bit difficult, but we'll cross that path when we get there. And here we go. We're shooting the two ball in the side pocket closest to us. Yeah, nothing to it, just go down, use that top, I use that top rail a lot. I use it more than I use the bottom round because there's always too much clutter down the table. And yeah, we're just popping out and using that doorway between the five and the eight ball. And we get good on the three. We just have to be careful here, shoot just lightly. And again, make sure you hit the six ball full. Um, yeah, that could have, I was worried about getting the hooks behind that ten ball. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know why I pulled that back when I could have just went forward and went two rounds back on the four ball easily and got easily. So now I have to shoot this and go down table, use that bottom round, but I'm putting right, bottom right on this. And you see what happens to the cue ball, it stays to the right side. And I get perfect on uh, the five ball to come down table a little bit on the seven. And all I have to do here is shoot it, use that left-hand side rail, and just come out the center table through the eight ball. But I, I shoot the eight ball wrong, and what I should have done was stun it, but I put top on it and went to the rail. I should not have done that. If I had just stunned that like a stop shot, I would have been perfect on the nine ball. So now I get way underneath the nine, I'm way on the left-hand side, and I can either bank this in the side pocket or go down table and just cut the hell out of it because the ten ball is makeable from anywhere on the table except the far down side of the table and that's it that's another game of ten ball let's go ahead and keep pushing and back to eight ball all right here we are after the break and i'm gonna have to be careful with this mouse sometimes when i touch this mouse and it moves too rapid you know too harshly it sends it, it sends the video, it like rewinds it back a couple frames, or it sends it forward a couple frames. Or one time it sent it all the way back to the beginning of the video, and it just ruins the video. And it, just, it makes it look like I edited it, and it's just terrible editing. So I have to be careful with this mouse. I can't just grab it. Uh, if you look, if you look closely, we don't have a single shot on the solid balls. And if you're looking at this three, there's no way to make this three in that corner without touching this 11 ball. So you're going to wind up missing it if you try it. And so, you know, we're stuck with the stripes, like it or not. But, you know, the stripes aren't terrible. Could be better. Nothing's tied up. So we should be okay. But we wind up in a disaster here. Or, well, not really a disaster, but, you know, a problem. And you'll see what it is right here. I draw this ball back to get right on, what is this, the, the 10 ball? I can't tell what ball this is. It might be the 14. No, that's the 14. This must be, it's either a 10 ball or 12. I can't tell. 
I'm so you see how I tied up the eight ball by drawing back trying to get on this ball here. Um, and I don't seem to be worried about this. If we get behind it back here, I don't know if I can make the eight ball in the side. I don't think I can. I think that would hit the three. But I really just, you know, I'm being a little cocky here. And while now I'm looking at it, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, you know, so I had to use that five as a stopper. And now, you know, I have no shot on this. Not an easy shot. So I have to shoot the 11 first and hopefully get in a position to knock this 3-8 out or get behind it if that shot is possible. I really don't. It doesn't look like it is to me. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell. What am I doing? Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that cockiness. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Oh, was that a I can't tell if that was a fail. We're going to have to go back and take a good look at that. Wait a minute. All right, see if you can tell which one of these balls moves first. And that will tell you if this is a foul. Does the eight ball move before the three? Uh, I just can't. Yeah, it did. I think it did. That was a legal shot. Wow, that was a close call there. I think it did, but I'm going to leave you be uh, the ref on that shot. Was it a foul or was it not a foul? You can give me a D minus grade if you wish. Anyway, here we are back to nine ball. And I'm going to be doing some more of these clean out videos coming up in the next video. And maybe even another one in the following video. Because I really want to get you guys caught up and current on what's going on. And I want to bring you guys with me and being a part of what I'm doing. We're going all the way back, in the 10 ball videos go back all the way to the beginning of April. And that's a little bit crazy. I don't want to get this stockpiled. Uh, but this happens, and it's my fault. I mean, I just wasn't publishing as many videos as I used to. And I usually set out for three a week. But I, I was winding up doing one or two. And plus I was playing better, so there was more run-outs. But uh, let's get on with this. And I'm still breaking uh, nine ball from the left-hand side. But um, I'm not liking where the one ball is going. That one ball, the plan is to make it bounce off the right-hand side route and wind up in the top of the left-hand corner of the table. But you can see right there it hit the point of the side pocket, which leaves me, you know, no shot on the one ball to get this game started. So instead of playing a safety and saying, hey, that's how you do it, bye-bye, I'm going to go for this combination on this 1-6 and just give it my best shot so I can give you at least something here. And uh, I wind up bad on, on the 2-ball, and this is a tough shot. And I, I don't think that 3-ball is makeable, so I need to shoot this 2 and try to knock out uh, the cluster there with the 3-4. Yeah, so, you know, it's a little bit crazy, but I'm managing to do it. And now it should be just two short rails to get back on the four and in between that doorway uh, on the seven and the nine. And if I do this right, I should be able to get on the five. A little bit of spin cue ball there, and I get perfect on the four. So now we're going to be using the left-hand side rail after shooting the five to bounce out. And try to get straight in on the 7. Um, if we get straight on, on the 7, I can just hit a stop shot. And I'm right there on the 9 to win the game. But I don't know why I shot this like a wuss. And I uh, didn't come nearly far enough out. So I wound up on the left side of the 7. And I have to draw this into the right hand side rail. To go underneath the 9. Uh, there's a lot that can go wrong here. I don't recommend doing it like this. Uh, yeah, I was just at too steep of an angle there. I should have went further in back of the nine. And if that cue ball landed on the rack, I wouldn't bother picking up the rack. If it's, if it's not on the rack, I'll pick it up before shooting the nine ball. But you should really do the, all that after the break. 
In fact, some tournaments are calling a foul on the breaking player if he doesn't do it, or she. So that's it. So yeah, look for more uh, clean out videos. I hate to call them that, but they're just uh, a whole lot of a whole lot of racks together. You know, four, five, six, seven more. One time I did like twenty in one video, and because I got so far behind, and I wanted to get you guys caught up. So that's where we're at again, and. Uh, this, here was this guy. We get a long conversation about health and exercise and stuff. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate you. And I'll try to get another video out before the weekend is over. Peace.